I couldn't manage bills and be able to take care of my daughter. They were kicked out of their homes for coming out. My 13-year-old cousin was shot and killed. It's facing those tragedies. It's talking about them. He needed good role models in his life. Family takes care of family no matter what. It's giving me job career training. I'm going to fulfill my dream. I've seen real hope. Nothing more I could wish for. Early on when I was a kid, parents got divorced. During that period of time, I was sort of standoffish towards a lot of males. My mom, you know, she tried to do everything. You know, she tried to be the mom and the father, and she sacrificed her time for myself and my siblings. I think it's just important just to have sort of a male figure in your life, whether it's blood related or a coach or a teacher. You know, it's just that natural bond that you have, and man to man or man to boy, I think that's, that's important, you know, to help people grow. I can't even fathom sometimes when you think about the circumstances that a 12-year-old or 10-year-old boy has to deal with losing a father uh, that early or, or not having him. He left when I was two and from five to seven I had constantly blamed myself about it and it made me more upset and angry. A lot of my life was just falling apart at that point. It hurts him. He feels the pain. Uh, when he see all his other friends, when their dad picking up, dropping off at a game, at, you know, doing things with them that they see all these dads doing. A lot of them are being raised by their grandmothers. Some mothers are involved with the fathers. If they are around, they're just not part of their lives. Some of them, unfortunately, are no longer with us or they're incarcerated. There's actually not a relationship at all. I haven't talked to them since I don't know when. I remember nothing. It's no, no connection, no contact at all. Son of a Saint is a mentorship program that focuses on enhancing the lives of fatherless boys in New Orleans through various activities. To be there for these kids when they really need somebody, somebody to tell their problems to, somebody to not to judge them. And that's what the program is there for especially here in New Orleans, raising a young African-American boy, growing up a lot without fathers. I just saw that he needed to have good role models in his life that were men. Whenever we with each other, we just, it's like our fathers not being there, just that thought just disappears. It's like we, we're just bonding and having fun and trying to get to know each other better. They feel like my brothers. We fight, we bicker, and we love each other. Nothing more I could wish for. You all playing video games? Yeah. Justice Winslow was introduced to our program maybe about six months ago. He related to our kids really well. He likes to joke around with them a lot. And I think he, he cuts some of that fear that the kids may have. He's an easy guy to trust. Oh, come on, bro. The feeling whenever I come around the clubhouse is just tremendous. And it's just um, so fun being around the boys. You know, they just want to do kid stuff and I'm kind of wrapped in this world where I was forced to mature and become a man so fast that you know I kind of missed out on some of the things that you know just kids and teenagers enjoy and so I think that's part of the reason it just lets me allows me to be a kid again what you, what you mean? <laughs> yeah I just made it I see how they interact with him. Play some video games, hot dog, dodgeball. Like you, you learn so much from somebody like through activities, you know, like through sporting activities and stuff. And I think he really saw how the boys interact with each other. Your name? What school you go to? What you want to be? What you want to be when you get old? Uh, my name's Jaheen. I go to St. Og, and when I grow up, I want to be an architect. My name is Justice Winslow. Uh, I went to Duke University. I want to be a basketball player, but if that doesn't work out... <laughs> you already is a basketball player. I want to be a fashion designer. Uh, my name is Errol, as y'all already know. I go to Warren Easton. And when I grow up, I'm going to be a duplicate of justice. <laughs> <laughs> I see change in kids. I see them start to smile a lot more, start to make suggestions on things to do. Engaging with their brothers in the program a lot more, trusting more. 
I see those things, uh, and that's positive for me. It's so many kids out there that needs this program. They can be the next president of the United States. They can be the secretary of state. They could just be the police officer down the street that can protect you. But they can't be anything without somebody being there for them. I didn't want him not to know what it felt like a man to put his hand on his shoulder and say, good job, son. I wanted him to know that feeling that his father would have done. There's no recipe for what a mentor is or what it isn't, but something about Justice and just the way he smiles, engages every one of them, it, it really made an impact on him. He's just like a regular person. Like he, he made it to the NBA, but he's just like us, so just always be humble about your situation, so that's what I took from Justice. He practiced a bunch for what he wanted to accomplish, so I'm gonna just have to do that same thing for coding because I wanna be a video game engineer, and coding is not an easy skill to learn. You know, for a lot of kids, they do so the trouble with, you know, confidence and lack of confidence. So just going out there and surround yourself with positive people that, you know, even if you do fail, they're still encouraging you to do better. And to know that, you know, I made their day and it kind of frees their minds and let them be themselves. You know, that's just the whole point. When someone sees you giving up your free time, um, you could be doing anything, but, you know, you're giving it to them. I think that that really sticks with them. And so throughout all this, you know, I just, I feel like I accomplished something.